Alright, so what's good with y'all, man? This is Jeffy K Base. We are back with another NBA 2K19 video. But you guys know we're going to talk about 2K20. Got my brother Tyler, aka Superman. Got my boy Kerbo. You know, you guys be seeing him in the comments. He's a big supporter of my channel, man. We was hoping. We won at least like six games last night. And I'm like 6.9% to 93 overall. I could have been like a 97 and above, but this game gets boring so easily. So we got some big news. I know the news already dropped yesterday, but I did not upload anything. So what we can do now, we can finally put attributes wherever we want to again. Kind of like in 2K15, uh, 2K14, 16, and 17. How you can put your attributes wherever. So say for instance, say if you start off with like 50 points and, you, and it, take, it takes about 10 for each. But then you have something that's left open until you get to 99. That's basically how it's going to be again. Like the old system, the old format. That's all that we've been needing. And I'm also speculating. It might be something huge for my players. Because it's only July the 14th. We still got August and September. Because 2K drops September the 6th. But then again, Prelude comes out on August the 30th. One week before 2K20 drops. So my speculation again for the archetypes, we can put, we can distribute attributes wherever we want to. But once we do that, it's gonna make our my player transfer, transform to a, a player of our play style. So if you like to shoot and dunk, you could be an uh, inside outside threat. Like like I showed you guys previously before in the old other videos that I did about a week or two, where I went to the uh. The roster and showed everyone's archetype. They they have the archetypes in the game, but we can't use them no more for our player because you can only pick one and pick a dual archetype. But if we can do that and distribute our our attributes the way we want to, 2K20 is going to be a phenomenal game. And we we do not know everything about 2K20 yet. But the only thing that they are revealing right now is the uh, my player screenshots and the overalls. They won't start doing my career information until about August and maybe the, the last week of July. So like I said, 2K, I, I, I think in my opinion, I think 2K20 is going to be good. But if they keep making these patches and keep um, messing up archetypes and making one archetype a lot stronger than other ones, then the game will be a fail. Because 2K19 was fun when it first came out, but then when they start patching other type of builds and then you had glass cleaners and post scores and lockdowns dominating, that does not make the game fun because I have a pure slasher. He, he can dominate, but I don't have a jumper. You got you, you got other builds that literally can shoot better than mine. But who knows how 2K is going to be because I, I already know what type of build I'm probably going to make. Both my, my players going to be either 6'11 or 7 foot, be a, a power forward, either make um, a slashing stretch four, make a shot creating athletic four, or either make actually I had no idea for the third spot. I see I'm making like like a period like a point forward mix with a slasher. But I don't know if I want to do that yet because I have to see what the game looks like. But I might actually make the first build. Cause if we have takeover or the grand bash back and it makes us a lot stronger at overall 95, then I'm definitely gonna make the first build. Cause I wanna get plus 10 to my uh to both my take to, to both my archetypes. My first archetype and my secondary archetype. And I want to make a Kevin Durant type player or like a Giannis or like a Rasheed Wallace type player or either Joel and B for that fact. I'll make a center and cook with him. And yes, we do got two game plays in one and we dismantled this team. It was 7 to 21. It wasn't even fair from the get go. But I'm going to be dropping so many videos these next couple days. We're going to have a lot of content. I'm working on videos now as I'm doing this commentary. We're going to drop a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to take over in 2K20. It's, it's going to be crazy. And I, I don't know about the road to 99. I don't think we should have road to 99. I think what they should do is make us work out in the practice facility. Give us the little bar again. And once the bar goes up, then you can put your attributes to your player. That would be actually the, the better thing. Because who wants to stay in my career and play 12 seasons just to hit 99? Like that, that, that's not fair to nobody else, the people who wants to play park and then 
most people have full time jobs to do other things and can't play the game. Like they see like me, I'm gonna start another job in August. But the good thing is I'll still be able to be on the game, but I won't be able to be on like every single time. Unless I balance my schedule out and everything. Cause I I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to take this YouTube stuff seriously again. Uh, Cause like when I when I first started uploading, I was going crazy on 2K14 and 15 and 16. With that, I, I kept I kept stop I was stopping uploading, wasn't being consistent. But now I'm I'm, I'm back on the grind, bro. Like everything's going good, man. You know, got me a beautiful girl. Uh, I got brothers that help me out. I'm doing good right now financially. Got my passport. Been to finally rebook this trip. A lot of different stuff, but that, that that's not the matter right now. We're talking about 2K information. It's about 2K20. You can distribute your archetypes forever. I'm so glad that they have that. They should just kept that the whole time. Cause why does 2K got to pick where we want to put our, uh, where we, where we want to sign our attributes? Cause if I if, if I'm max out my vertical at first and my dunk and my shot and defense, let me do that. Like don't don't pick what what I want to cap out. Cause that makes no sense. Like who wants to who wants the game to help them pick how how their players supposed to be? Because it's so dumb, because if you rank up, you don't know what you're going to get. You don't get stuff that's not even on your archetype. I remember one time they gave me three-point shooting and gave me um, post-scoring defense and some other stuff that I didn't even need for my players. Because for one thing, I don't shoot jumpers. I'm not going to be in the post every single time unless I'm playing center. That's the only time I'll be in the post. And then they didn't stop choosing it. Like, they should let us be able to use it and calculate our own archetypes how we want to. Because that's why it's called our mob. It's, why, that's why it's called my player, not your player, not their player, but your player specifically. It's our player, my player. That's why it's called my career mode, because it's my career. It's not Ryan 2K, not LD 2K. It's ours. But um, also, too, another thing I want to discuss about 2K20, if we do have rank, they, they, they should let it where we can wear free clothes. I, I'm going to discuss this every single time, because we need free clothes in the rec center. That, the rec we have right now, that just walked on pro Am with black and white jersey. If you go to an actual rec, like the YMCA, or like a local like uh, gym or something, like 24 Hour Fitness, LA Fitness, you see everybody wearing different outfits. Who wants to wear black and white clothes when they're who? That's boring. Like, this ain't the 1960s. Like, come on, yo. Like, we're not wearing no chucks or nothing. That we, we wearing Jordans and Nikes and Pumas, Adidas, etc. And those aren't black and white. How come we can wear different shoes, but we go to Pro and we're going to wear black and white jerseys? Like, and then they need to take out the dodgeball, take out cages. We don't need none of that. They said that they said neighborhoods coming back. Who knows? Because Ryan 2K be trolling. He need to say, are we going to have different parts or different neighborhoods? Because, like, I honestly, I don't care if we had a neighborhood, but make the neighborhood like look better. Like give us like three different ones. Like make see like right now like the the, the, the neighborhood we playing at right now is so dull looking. Like all the courts are open. And instead of having two v two right there, they should make it like two K seventeen with sunset. Put a five v five court right in the middle. They put the they, they put the three two v twos. Put one on the left, one on the right, and one on the upper. They have the other court be three v three. You guys remember what court I'm talking about? Because sunset always had the five v five court. Or, or I think I think either fives or fours. I'm not for sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But that, if we have that in the neighborhood, then that's cool. I, I wouldn't complain about it because at least it looked just like Sunset and everything. Because that, that that was my favorite court. You know, I was affiliated with River City, but I like um, I like Sunset Beaches because they had that big court in the middle. They had so many two v twos, and then River City had one v one courts like 21, like everybody for themselves, like three on three on three. See, we, it, it, it's so much stuff you guys can put back in the game. And Old Town had the carnivals, the ocean, and all that type of stuff. That was pretty cool, but I, I didn't go to Old Town that much. I, I mostly went there for rival days and events where you get double rep and double VC. Because it was fun playing. Like, I don't know why it's so hard to have rival day again. Do you, do, does 2K know how much money they can make if they have three different parts? It could... It could... It could start so much good, like, like competition on YouTube again. Like, back in 2K15 and 16, Pretty Boy Fredo, Red City Boy, all those guys was going crazy at the park. I was going crazy at the park with my balance play. Hell, I was on all three affiliations. If, if we could have stuff back like that, 2K would be so fun. This is how most of these guys came up on YouTube. Like, Nadez came up from 2K16, Annoying Hum, Soluminati came up from 2K15. It, it, it's a lot of reasons why people were so successful because the old 2k games were so fun and everybody had fun playing them like no limit sean for example he was a big name in the community my boy fgg pride was a big 
was a beta in community. A lot of people, man. Shakedown 2012. Like, I, I can keep it going. But I hope in 2K20 we can put, we can we, we, we can make versatile archetypes to have our own. Because if I want to be an all-around superstar, let me be an all-around superstar. If I want to be an inside-outside threat, let me be that. If, if my brother want to be a, a shot, a shot, a shot, Sharp, then let him be a sharp, sharp, etc. Like I say, it gonna be a lockdown, a lockdown defender, paint protector with a little bit of three point shot and dunk it. Let us do that, cause you got NBA players that can do pretty much everything, yo. But I ain't gonna waste too much time. I got about like three more minutes left to this video ends. You guys wanna comment down below what you guys wanna see in 2K? You guys wanna talk to me? You guys know my social media links is down in the description box below. Did this video kind of fast, cause I am very exhausted. But, like I said, man, you guys want to run me in 2K. You guys know my gamer tag on Xbox. Jeffrey K base with a 5 and 3. It's going to be crazy, man. First night with 2K coming out, I'm going to be uh, grinding that day. And I got work that morning. That ain't going to stop me because my new job I got is lit. And I finish off with the Skywalker 360 dunk. But hey, it's going to be a good year, man. I, I wish everybody have a blessed day. Uh, and, uh, and everybody, I hope everybody get their dreams come true. They positive, no bad vibes, man. You feel me? No hate over here shall prosper against me. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay flight for more content. Let's get it. Stack your bread. I.